The Kelowna International Airport may be miles away from Ottawa and the situation that unfolded Wednesday, but here, security measures have been stepped up following the unprovoked attack on a Canadian soldier. Uh, in terms of increased vigilance for our own staff is make sure that all our tenants, our airlines, are aware of uh, what's going on. Uh, in terms of increased vigilance, so if they see any kind of suspicious activity, uh, that they report that. Uh, we also increase the number of patrols that we do, so uh, uh, we changed some schedules to increase those number of patrols. And then we also increased RCMP police presence uh, at the airport. That heightened sense of awareness can be seen in various locations, including here at the BC Dragoons Armory in Kelowna, where the facility remains on lockdown. It's at this time where emotions continue to be stirred up, that of frustration and anger. However, one UBCO student is determined to ensure Canadians take this time to stand together. Well, this thing is, is a rare occurrence for us, but, uh, but uh, it definitely um, brings us together. Just you know, seeing how, they, how they've been reporting the story and how uh, carefully they've been, uh, been uh, treating people who have been involved with it, uh, I, it, it makes me proud to be a Canadian. And uh, so today, I, I, uh, on my way to school, I thought, you know, we should, we should do something about it. And, uh, you know, wearing red is a simple, simple thing to do. Wear red tomorrow for Canada. That's all it is. So pretty, pretty simple, right? McCulley and UBCO student president Rocky Kim are asking their peers to wear red on campus this Friday in solidarity of Canada and in remembrance of Corporal Nathan Sorello, as well as to spark a conversation among one another about terrorism on our soil. I was only in Ottawa a week ago. So I was, and talk about hitting close to home. People are, feel so disconnected from events like this because they're like, oh, it will never affect myself. Next thing you know, I'll be like, oh, it happened in Ottawa. I'm not, I don't live in Ottawa, but, next, but I was in Ottawa last week and I was walking through Parliament. It, it could have been me stuck in there and my, a couple of my good friends are actually working at Parliament Hill and we're inside when this happened. And it hit very close to home, but I think the correct reaction is the Canadian reaction, which is to say, let's come together and let's show the world how a country properly reacts to a massacre like this. It seems that uh, no matter who you, who you hear from, uh, they seem to be all greatly affected by it and, uh, and saddened by it. So, um, yeah, it's definitely been, uh, been a wake-up call. The two students hope others around the Okanagan will join them in their movement to wear red on Friday and show solidarity for those affected by the tragedy in Ottawa. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.